In this video, we develop the complete model of a real transformer. Let us start uh, by modeling a real transformer without its uh, core loss and uh, magnetizing current. So this is the model. So what we did here is simply to separate the uh, resistance and the reactance of both the primary and secondary windings uh, leaving an ideal transformer at the center of the model. Take note that uh, in both the primary circuit and the secondary circuit, we can write the KV equation. So these uh, are the KV equations at the primary, and this is the KV equation at the secondary. Next, we model the core loss and the magnetizing current. Now that model, has to satisfy this uh, phasor diagram. And uh, also, the question is, where are we going to put the model? Should we put it in the primary or in the secondary? Uh, take note that uh, even without the uh, load at the secondary, or even without the secondary winding, we will still get uh, a core loss and a magnetizing current if we connect the primary winding to a uh, evolved source it's because uh, the core loss is uh, the losses inside the core of the transformer while the magnetizing current is the uh, represents the flux that is created inside the magnetic core also take note that uh, I sub C represents the current for the core loss of the transformer and I sub M represents the current required to produce the flux inside the core. So in this phasor diagram, uh, I sub C is uh, in phase with E sub 1 and therefore we can uh, represent uh, that uh, the current by installing a resistance that is uh, parallel with E sub 1 and uh, let's label that resistance R sub C. Now that resistance will draw a current I sub C that is in phase with uh, E sub 1 because uh, the component that we've installed is a resistance to represent I sub M, uh, take note that it is 90 degrees uh, lagging from E sub 1, and therefore we can represent I sub M as an inductor with a value X sub M. So this uh, element will draw the current uh, I sub M that is. Uh, uh, lagging uh, E sub 1 by 90 degrees. So here is the complete model of the transformer, which is also called the exact uh, transformer model. So here we have uh, combined effects of the core loss and the magnetizing current into a single shunt a circuit. That circuit will draw the current I sub P, which is uh, actually the exciting current. Now, because of the presence of the uh, core loss and magnetizing current model, uh, the current here is not anymore I sub 1, but uh, a different current. So we uh, relabel this by, or we uh, relabel this with uh, a current I sub 2 prime. Uh, that, uh, that current actually answers for the current drawn by the secondary if uh, we have a load connected here. Okay, so take note that uh, the, uh, or take note of the following relationships. So here we have uh, uh, I sub 2 prime divided by I sub 2 
this must equal 1 over a and uh, e sub 1 over e2 must be equals to a where uh, a is n sub 1 over n sub 2. It is actually possible to come up with an exact uh, model of the transformer without the ideal transformer in that model. This can be done by transferring the elements of the secondary winding towards the primary side and also uh, uh, reflecting these quantities on the other side. So here is that model. So this uh, element here is really uh, a squared x2, while this one is a squared r2. Uh, this one is uh, the current due to the current at the secondary, and this must equal i sub 2a, or this one must be b sub 2. So it is given here. You can also do that uh, in the opposite direction, that is by transferring the uh, elements at the primary side to the secondary side. So we call this the uh, exact model of the transformer referred to the secondary side. So uh, here we have a translated R sub 1, uh, translated X sub 1, well, this one are the exact values for the parameters of the secondary winding. Here is the translated uh, a shunt circuit on the primary. So we have uh, R sub C prime and X sub M prime. Uh, this uh, current I sub 1 prime is uh, the current coming from the primary winding. And this uh, uh, I sub V prime is the exciting current from the primary side. And this one is the actual current at the secondary and the voltage uh, at the secondary side. This uh, voltage uh, V sub 1 prime is also the voltage uh, translated uh, or the voltage from primary translated in the secondary side. So these are the values. In uh, the exact transformer model referred to the primary side and the secondary side, you will notice a uh, shunt circuit at the, at the center of the model. And because of that, uh, it makes the determination of the quantities uh, V1, V2, I1, I2, and uh, the exciting current uh, difficult. Now, to overcome this, uh, we can transfer the shunt circuit in the uh, uh, model referred to the primary side in front of uh, the circuit or in front of the model. And likewise, you can do the same for the model referred to the secondary side. We can simplify the analysis by transferring this uh, circuit here in front of the model. So that will give us this approximate model. So this is the approximate model of the transformer referred to the primary side. So notice that we have moved the uh, shunt circuit in front and that makes uh, the determination of the quantities uh, much easier. So this is for the secondary side. So that's it for this video.
In our next video, we'll be going through examples involving the equivalent circuits of transformers.